Hello, Christopher. Hello. Hi you? there. Yeah. Can you tell me why this night is so important? Well, um, I've, um, I'm one of the curators of the exhibition, and it's the, the first major exhibition the V&A has ever done about the movies. It's the first exhibition ever to really tell the story of costume design in film. It's a really historic evening. And it's been so, it's taken years and years and years to gather together all these costumes in one place. I mean, to give you an idea, Dorothy's dress from The Wizard of Oz came from a bank vault in Fleet Street, and the shoes, the ruby slippers, came from the Smithsonian in Washington, and they haven't been together since 1939. So and if you multiply that by 140 costumes, it's been incredibly complex. But it's absolutely great, it's all come together. And, it's, uh, and at last, the V&A is, uh, into the movies. You record the first film that impressed you with, the, with its costume uh, from the childhood. I can't. Probably The Wizard of Oz, actually, because of going from black and white land at the beginning into Technicolor land. Do you remember? She goes from Kansas, which is black and white, and then she goes to this very highly coloured, everything's a bit over the top, and it's a movie like going to the movies. You know? It's sort of magic. And then you see the wizard behind the curtain, and you know he's a con man, but actually you don't mind that because you want to have a good time. I think as a child I picked a little bit of that, and I certainly loved the colour and the, you know, the ruby slippers and, you know, click your heels and say there's no place like home. I remember all that very, very well. And the recent films, and your recent films that you... Well, one of the things I was very, very keen to get was... Bruce Willis's T-shirt from Die Hard, because everybody thinks that you know costume design is all about you know Gladiator or Ben Hur and all these great historical epics. But actually, that T-shirt, which he wears through almost throughout the movie as Officer McLean, uh, is just as difficult to design, and it's a great, great icon. And actually, we've got Anna Karenina. The last costume is the movie that's on actually at the moment, and we had to take a sort of gamble and uh, 18 months ago and say, what are we going to finish on? So it's actually a current movie. Beautiful gown worn by Kira nightly which uh, finishes the show well fantastic thank you so much for your time Enjoy thank you thank you very much indeed thanks bye now